A history-making moment at the 2024 Democratic National Convention, with the first black and South Asian woman accepting her party's nomination for president. All week leading up to the grand finale. I know there are people of various political views watching tonight, and I want you to know, I promise to be a president for all Americans. You can always trust me to put country above party and self. Some of the biggest names in the Democratic Party throwing their support behind Kamala Harris, who has surged in the polls and raised hundreds of millions of dollars in a matter of four weeks. She laid out her vision on some key issues. I fought against the cartels who traffic in guns and drugs and human beings, who threaten the security of our border and the safety of our communities. Republicans, meanwhile, spending the week working to define her their way, launching a new website, calling her policies dangerous. Former President Donald Trump spending the day in Cochise County, Arizona, contrasting his border policies with what actions he believes Kamala Harris would take. She will never build the wall. She doesn't want to build the wall. She's only saying if she, if she changes her mind, it's only because she wants to get elected, because who wouldn't want to have a strong border? And my apologies, Kylie, before I had trouble hearing you, but you know, right now what's going on, the balloons are being popped behind me. Uh, the party here is over. So now the real work begins. I think a lot of people are going to be looking to see uh, what Kamala Harris talks about on the campaign trail. Will she lay out specific policy proposals? And will she finally sit down for a sit-down interview or host a news conference? These are all things a lot of people are going to be watching for now that she is officially the Democratic Party nominee for president.